Hey everybody, I'm gonna to talk today about how I just saved a ton of money on car insurance. And this may sound like a Geico commercial, but it's not. You gonna tell me how to save 15%? You gonna tell me how to save 15%, huh? Because I didn't save money using Geico, another company. So let me first off say that my son, AJ, got completely screwed by State Farm auto insurance on a recent claim. I decided to assign him the task of shopping for new auto insurance for the family. So check this out. We currently, we're paying State Farm, or we were, around $5,087 for five vehicles every six months. That's a lot of money, right? I've been a State Farm client for about 24 years now. Right now, I am paying with my new company $3,000, actually it's $3,071. So I'm saving over $2,000 a month for five vehicles for the next six months. And I went line for line. We actually got better coverage with this new company. I wanted him to be blessed by this. So I actually decided to put a special discount link down below for the Auto Trader Pro course. If you wanna save money by buying your next car, either new or used, or you wanna make more money selling it, or you just wanna make money buying and selling vehicles like I have in the past, I've got a discount link for $189 for Auto Trader Pro course, 14 days. You've watched less than 50% of those videos and you go, this ain't gonna save me any money. I'll give you your money back, end of story. Okay, so here are some of the tips that I gave to my son to save money on car insurance. First off, don't be afraid to shop around. You have to shop multiple agents, multiple brokerages to be able to get the best price. The more, uh, places you shop around, the more quotes you get, the better data you have, right? You also wanna go apples for apples. You wanna go down each car's level of coverage, the medical coverage, the personal items that are covered, everything. You wanna go and take your current insurance quote, or no, sorry, your, your, your insurance bill, what you pay for, and you take that don't show your other agents that you're asking for the quotes, but you actually go line for line and say, okay, this is how much coverage I want for this car. This is how much coverage I want for bodily injury. This is how much coverage I want for this and for that, okay? Now, another thing is, is bundling. Do you wanna make sure that all of your cars are in together with one company? Some people make the mistake where they have one insurance uh, company for one car and one for another. That's not good. You definitely want to bundle. The more cars, the better, for fewer drivers, you'll notice that I have four people in my family, I have five cars, I have an extra vehicle, um, and that helps because the company knows that I'm not gonna be driving all of those vehicles together, okay? So by putting them all in the same policy, you'll be able to save a chunk of change because it is their incentive for you to bring them in more business, right? So they want to be able to figure out ways to save you money. If you have home and life insurance, you could also bundle those together. But right now, we're sticking just with auto insurance. Now, the payment plan. If you can manage it, paying every six months or one year for your entire policy will usually lead to a good discount rather than paying the monthly. If you don't think you can come up with that chunk every six months or one year, here is how you can do it. Elect to pay every six months or one year instead of paying your monthly bill to your insurance. Pay that monthly amount to your yourself in a savings account. That's the whole thing. You've got to learn how to make those bigger, write those bigger checks so that you could save the bigger money, right? Because then when you can come up with that bill, you'll be, it'll all be sitting there waiting. So the next thing is deductible amounts. The higher the deductible, the lower the cost for insurance, because the insurance company knows if you have a super high deductible, you're less likely to want to file a claim because you're going to either have to come up with that money out of pocket, or if they pay you a cash settlement, they're gonna pay you a lot less, all right? Now, on the flip side, if you have zero deductible, that means that you're gonna be paying more in your auto insurance because these companies know that you're more likely to just put in a claim because what's it gonna hurt? Not gonna cost you anything, right? So you want your deductibles to be at a reasonable amount. I set mine at 500, and again, apples for apples, I wanna make sure that that's the case. Next is your driving record. Obviously, the cleaner your driving record, the better, the cheaper, insurance you're going to be able to get. Now, a lot of companies have instituted this, you know, plug this thing into your car so we could track you and follow you everywhere. And then we're going to know what kind of driver you are. and We're going to adjust you accordingly. I have completely avoided all of that. I don't want anything to do with that. But my physical driver record, the one that the police can look up when they pull you over, um, that's clean, you know, staying away from tickets, accidents, things like that, especially at fault accidents. 
accidents that are your fault. You want those off your record. The better your driving record, the cheaper it is. So with this next insurance that I picked and saved all this money with, they had the same record. They didn't give me a tracking chip to put in my car because I wouldn't let them. They didn't even offer it, okay? And again, I saved money. The next thing on saving money is driving less. Insurance companies, it, they'll ask you, what is your annual driving amount? And in this situation, we put 10,000 miles. Now, if we go over 10,000 miles, it's not like we're gonna get fined. The insurance company will just adjust, but they know that if you drive over 10,000 miles a year, you're more likely, because you drive more, to get in an accident. It's like the dumbest statistic ever, but it's true. So when you're picking your amounts or deciding, like I have more than one car per person in my family, I can put a little bit less miles on one car, put a little bit more on another, depending on the values of the car, all right? Another thing, maintaining good credit. In some states and some agencies, they'll actually check your credit score to help them determine what rate you should get. So try and maintain that good credit. And then obviously add on things like student discounts. Good student discounts, when you have a GPA above 3.0 for your children, that gives you a lot of discounts as well. All right, now let's dive into the company that I use to save all of this money. Well, obviously I just covered all of that, all those different points. And I went to multiple places, got multiple uh, bids, and some of the bids were absolutely outrageous, way more than State Farm Auto Insurance was charging me. The company that, gave me a discount of over $2,000 in just the first six months and I'm with them, compared to State Farm, apples for apples, is American Family Insurance. Now this isn't a commercial for American Family Insurance. I'm just telling you what I did. Again, I went and got multiple quotes. I did my due diligence. I went and checked ratings and they were rated very highly on the internet on a handful of different sites. So that was really important to me. So that's the company that I'm going with right now. Again, this is not a, a paid sponsorship, but I will tell you, if you wanna help out AJ and you wanna save money on your next deal, buying a car or selling a car, check out the Auto Trader Pro class. I'll put on the pre-filming discount back up again. It's $189. I hope you got something out of this. I hope you saved money. Let me know down in the comment section what insurance company you've got and what you think about them and their prices below.